Welcome to Valor Life. I'll tell you what, we're going to meet a guy today. Mark Chandler is his name. He was homeless for a time. He'd been arrested a couple of times. He's done hard time, and now he's found our Lord, and he's here at Men of Valor. What a story. What an impact on his own life and the life of his own family on top of that. Here you go. So you grew up in Nashville? Yes, sir. Where'd you go to high school? McGavin. McGavin high school. <laughs> Did you play sports? Uh, no, sir. Didn't? I did in junior high school. You did in junior school. high? Two okay. Years. Tell me about growing up. What was it like for you? I grew up in the inner city in Cheatham uh, Projects. Um, it was crime infested. A lot of bad uh, experiences, uh, bad role models. Uh, I followed behind the wrong crowds. It led me to uh, a very bad place in my life. Uh, it led me to do some things that I'm not proud of today. What happened? What was it like at home? Did you did you have parents, mom and dad, or just? I had a mom. My, my dad, my mom and dad were separated. They, he was never in the home. Did that affect you? You think? Now that I think back on it, it did. At, at the time, uh, considering the families around me, it seemed normal. If you don't mind my asking, what did you wind up getting arrested for? Uh, which time? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What was it? All right, give me a little idea. First, well, time. I went to prison for fraud. A fraud. Cash and payroll checks. Trying to get some money. So how long were you in then? I've done five and a half years. All right, you get out. You should have learned, right? Right. What happened? Uh, I went back to a life of crime. I went back to the streets. Uh, drugs, alcohol. Uh, Why was it? Was it because you got pulled back in by the same people that were out there? I think at that time, uh, I tell people this all the time, I think I was more addicted to the lifestyle. Uh, of the street life, more more so than the drugs. The drugs was a symptom of it. You had enough money or something? You got something off of that street life? That, Did, was, a, that was a part of the street life. Whoa. The, the getting the money part. What was the second time you got arrested for? That, I went back, that was it. And I, the second time I went into Omni Hotel, excuse me, second time I went to Omni Hotel and uh, lifted a $3,500 laptop and went to CCL Harding Place. And that's why I uh, was exposed to the Jericho program in Men of Valor. Men of Valor. What happened? What started to go inside of you that said, wait a minute, I got to change and this is my way? Well, I was tired of living like that. Uh, I got kids, I got family here. I was born and raised in Nashville. And I'd been estranged from my family for all these years. And uh, I knew in order for me to repair those relationships and to be reconciled with my families, I would have to make a change. And Jericho and Men of Valor provided the best opportunity for me to learn the tools that I need to do to make that change. But you know that's based on faith. Right. Where was God in your life before, and then what happened when he hit you in the straight in the eye? I would always knew about God. Uh, my mom would always tell me, you don't need nothing but Jesus, but I never paid any attention to it. But when I got to Jericho, uh, something clicked and showed me that uh, God was real in my life. I, you were home. I didn't realize that. You were homeless? Yes, I was homeless in the streets of downtown Nashville for about two years. Uh, Where would you live? Where would you sleep? I had a camp in the alley off 2nd and Broad. A camp? Behind Mike's ice cream shop. <laughs> for how long? For a little over a year. I slept in the park right in front of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Uh, basically, a lot of nights I slept wherever I was to, uh, I laid down. What kind of hope can you have? How, how You'd wake up in the morning feeling what? I'd wake up in the morning. I'd sleep, where my routine was, I would do drugs all night. I would sleep all day. Where are you getting the money to do drugs? Downtown. I used to sell roses on Broadway. And people would buy them from you? Yeah, them. Where'd you get the roses from? I'd go to flower shops. Uh, they throw them away. They throw them away? Yeah, you pick them up? I just the leaves off of them. See that, like a bush right there? Yeah. So those leaves have been, I just stripped the leaves off of them and leave the bloom. And then sell the bloom and people would buy them. And then that beer drug, so you'd be high and then you wake up in the morning and say what? I do, do, do the same routine all over again. Every day. I had no hope. Didn't care about nothing, nobody. Didn't care about myself. Didn't care about your family? No. I pushed them to away. I pushed them away. And that's what led to your, your incarceration then, yeah. right? They want to... I couldn't, and then your life changed. Men of Valor, what, Men do you, Valor. what do you like about it? It's given me opportunity to reconcile with my kids. Uh, 
It showed me what, uh, how to improve my faith. It introduced me to God. It introduced me to people. And it placed people in my life that I never imagined that I would know or get to talk to or be yeah. mentored by. Where are you at now? Because you seem so peaceful. Where I'm at now? Yeah. Uh, I've been here about uh, close to five months. And right now I'm uh, working on getting back in my kids' life. Uh, it's not a bed of roses. Uh, it's a lot of things I have to uh, own up to. How old are they? My kids are grown, 27. I got three boys and a girl. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so, now you got to be an example. Yeah. Does that motivate? Most definitely. Where's faith in their lives? Are they seeing it through you or have they got their own? I, I, I really can't answer that because I hadn't uh, talked to them that, that much, that extensively. So I'm, I'm basically, they wait, basically waiting to see what I'm going to do. Because they've been through this, they, they've been through this track and uh, dog and pony show before. With you? Yeah, right. Your family, are they watching you, trying to see whether this is for real or not? Yes, most, most definitely. Uh, in what way? Uh, just about in every way. They, they, uh, I feel like they're just not sure. Uh, they asked each other questions. My nephew told me last night, I talked to him on the phone, and he said that my, his sister called him, and the first thing she asked him was, is he still there? Really? Yeah, so that lets me know. That, you know. How sure are you that it's for real? I'm very sure. I'm very sure. Deep in my heart, I'm very sure. You know where your you know where your hope is from. Yeah, I know where my strength comes from. He's our Lord and our God, isn't he? God He's my bless. Redeemer. God bless you, my Thank friend. You.